Hello everybody and welcome to another episode. Yes, this time we're going to be checking out Story of Seasons. Uh, also, uh, the the whole schedule thing that I made before, just throw it out the window. I'm bad with schedules, okay? Okay? And apparently I'm also bad with, um, whatchamacallit, uh, <laughs> remembering release dates. Because I totally thought this came out today. Uh, no, it came out a few days ago. I, I'm very dumb. I don't know what, well... I do know because I've been incredibly busy. My my work schedule has flown out the roof because of coworker being on vacation. But that's okay. That's okay. I'm still managing. I'm still trying. Normal mode. Uh, the bonuses found in seedling mode will not be given for players who prefer more of a challenge. Wow. This is... I like the soundtrack, but it's very bombastic in, in my ears. I need to turn that down a little bit. Uh, seedling mode. Items will ship for more money. Player stamina will decrease more slowly. Friendship levels will increase faster. Right, this sounds like cheating. Well, usually for Valheim, I would do that. But I'm not going to do that here. Mainly because, uh, at least, uh, again, Valheim. I know. What is wrong with me? Uh, <laughs> it would take forever. Uh, mainly because this isn't our full-on world. Because you won't be able to get the new biomes. Any of the... the in your current world, you have to make a whole new one because, you know, uh, early access, etc, etc. A long time ago, my grandfather and his friends blazed a trail and established a new settlement. They called it Olive Town. I can't skip for some reason. It's, it's just staying there. When I was a kid, I loved listening to stories of my grandfather's pioneering days more than anything. Is there, like, a prompt? Oh, it just does it itself. Since then, it's been my dream to live in all of town, just like he did. Aww. And with, uh, any... Any old... Oh, that's so adorable. Sorry, I love the loading screen. And this is probably... It's gonna start you off just like any old, uh, I almost said Harvest Moon game. Oh, you see that? See that? Remember, this is not Harvest Moon. Story of Seasons. This is from the original creators of Harvest Moon. Natsume, since 2012, 2012, has taken over the name Harvest Moon because they legally owned it. So they decided to be a little underhanded, sneaky, sneaky, cash cow money, you know? Um, again, I, I will shout it from the rooftops. I've said it in many episodes of mine. I do not support Natsume. You can, if you want. But I will not. Uh, facial features. Pioneer. This is my pioneer face. Hello, everybody. Well, okay. Uh, movement's a little... Uh, it's so ever slightly shifty. Like, it's good, and at the same time, I'm noticing something. Something's there. Frontier. Whoa, God. When all serious face? Baby face. Energetic. Even more of a baby face. What is this? Oh, these, it's just like the eyes. Okay, th these two are almost identical. Frontier and Bright. Um, Energetic has its own like little thing going on with a slightly wider mouth. So far, Pioneer looks the coolest in the category. Oh, they, they've given us a lot more exotic. That doesn't look exotic. I, I look tired. And uh, like I shaved my eyebrows. Fresh. Sweet. Sorry, we have to go through all of these. If I, if I don't, like, feel free to skip ahead because I'm going to be looking at these. It's, it's This is the file that I'm going to be playing on. I'm not going to be doing this as like a regular episode thing because I'll be playing a lot of this in my own time. I go freaking balls to the walls when it comes to games like this. Animal Crossing came out two weeks later, I had two to three weeks later, I had like over 300 hours into it, and I already completely terraformed my island and everything, and I was done. That's just how I play these games. And then once in a while, I go back and revisit them. Jesus Christ. Uh, but yes, uh, I'll, I'll put a link up to when I'm done doing all my uh, editing. Editing? No, yo, of my character, yes. Everything is... Uh, I... I look silly. Friendly. Confident. 
sleepy. Um, I do kind of like sleepy. Maybe not with those eyebrows, though. That was feminine again. Looks pretty smooth. Mischievous is kind of mischievous. Okay, I'll give him that. The sly. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, I see. I see what you're doing here. Whoa, what was that? Stubborn? I like that. I don't know why. I just like the dead eye look like, why the hell am I here? Why am I doing this? Mysterious. No, you just look like you've done a lot of blow or something. Stubborn. I think I want to... God, dude, but Pioneer is so cool. Uh, I love this face so much. Do I want to go through the whole game? Just looking like I'm super tired, though. He just looks like he doesn't care. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm going with stubborn. Skin color? Almost thought that was pink. I'll just stay with the original. Um, eye color. I have more of a hazily color. Kind of... I'd probably say it's closest to that blue gray whoa okay they, they got they got a butt ton up in here go okay Cause depending on the lighting my eyes tend to go from like a, a grayish to blue or green left eye color oh they're trying to go all anime up on us hairstyle uh, short farmer cut oh god I am so bad with these I just want to see everything I want to see all that they got Long farm cut. Whoa, handsome. Mr. Handsome, look, his long locks flowing in the breeze and his gaze says he does not care. Short hair. Uh, that, did you mean bull cut? Or almost like a Hinata type look. Short hair too. Uh, the mischievous, uh, rascal style. I can't see, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, I do like that, but I don't like how it kind of looks like a butt. Like, right here. <laughs> Medium length. Uh, okay, I like that. I dig that. Medium length, too. So, I always put a little marker mentally for me. I like that cut. Remember the name. No thanks. Nope. What is that, James? I'm trying to get Pokemon up in here. Uh, the rest of these are kind of cool. Full on pigtails. Oh, look at that wiggle motion. Long three. Okay. They're trying to give you a lot of options up in here. It's nice. It's nice. Uh, I think I'm going to go because I like the original, but I also like medium length. Number two. It just kind of suits his deadpan face look. I like that. Uh, hair color. Mine's a little bit of a darker brown. Yeah, I'll go with that. Voice! Fresh! What? Excuse me? Okay! Okay! okay. God, these are so anime. Okay. That doesn't sound powerful. Okay. Okay. That sounds m more energetic. Okay. I'll go with wild. Uh, bearing? What is bearing? Like your your stature? Powerful? Charming? And, oh, yeah, it's just your posture. Really. It's whatever's. Uh, farm jackets. Oh, is that it? Okay, farm jacket. Farm skirt. Ooh. Damn, I look pretty. Did I just get a crush on myself? Jesus. Okay, so I think I got my, my character. Um, it didn't take me as long as I thought it would, but... Oh, God. Be grateful. Be grateful I'm not playing something like Dragon's Dogma right now. I will literally spend, like, two hours making a character. Uh, go with the spirits? Confirm. That's fine with me. Everything looks good to go. Ha-do-do-do. Ha-do-do-do. 
Oh, it's so adorable. I had gloves like that. Well, because I've mentioned that before. It, um, I was so obsessed with Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life. I loved that game so much. It was my first Harvest Moon. And then I proceeded to go and play the older ones and whatnot. Never got to play 64, but it's meh. Um, I went out and I got the exact same outfit as the character in Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life. I went to Osh when I was a child. My dad bought me the, the clothing and luckily, somehow, they did have the black gloves. Um, it, you, know, you see the little uh, square patch right there? Uh, that was all red instead with the fabric it had a little paw print on there it was oh dude went out in my dad's backyard area because he had a lot of land and i grew me some sunflowers and pumpkins it was amazing i it was a good time in my childhood <laughs> loved it so much it's kind of fresh Ooh, i like it sleek though too god but blue is also my favorite color but it's just such a generic blue um, I think I always tend to prefer like my vehicles black. Uh, that's just my preference though, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that. Is this motorcycle okay? Well, yeah, motorcycle. Did you mean moped? It looks more like a moped. Moped was almost one of my first modes of transportation because I got tired of riding my bike across town right after I graduated high school, and I had to ride. At like five in the morning all the way across town to work and then it would be pouring rain I would have to slap that thing on a bus and take that home it sucked so I was like I might as well just maybe I'll, I'll get a moped but then I wanted to increase the speed and they're like no you're gonna need a, a motorcycle license for that and I was like I might as well just get a freaking motorcycle at that point but I did not end up doing that I ended up getting a beautiful uh, 2006 Mitsubishi Eclipse is beautiful. That car had a booty on it. It went out and curved. Oh, it was so good. I love that car. The black leather uh, interior bucket seats and the, the, the it was good. It was my first car. Love that car. Burnt up in the fire. Um, but now I'm rolling around with a more modern uh, Hyundai Bloster Turbo thing is nice and you know just a little speedy when I need it to be ahead all of town even though our as your language just a bunch of squares it was just three olives and arrow and squares I don't understand I do not get it unless you're showing me some oh man I didn't start my timer oh well it's whatever I'll, I guess I'll just guesstimate it hello Oh, well, wouldn't you look at that. Hello, Victor. And who might you be? Did you come all the way here on that motorcycle? Uh, <laughs> no, I didn't. I just found it here. I did. Well, that must have been an arduous journey. Your poor motorcycle tells a story all of its own. No, uh, you needn't worry about it. I can have the repairs arranged. I'll be getting it to a man named Clemens who runs our tool shop. You can pick it up later once he's all done with it. Er, uh, by the way, might I have your name? Yo, mama. Um, my name. Oh, what am I doing? I need cap locks. Thank you. My name is Anim. Tell your mother. Well, boom. There we go. Your name is Anim. You can all change this later. Confirm. I see. Uh, so your name's Anim, is it? That sounds so familiar. Oh, where have I heard that name before? Uh, oh my goodness. Your birthday. It's, uh, is it what I think it is? Oh, very clever. Very clever. I see what you're doing. I guess in real life, my birthday would be in autumn, technically. Autumn 14th! Choose birthday. And yes, I remember now, autumn 14th. <laughs> autumn 14. Uh, come to think of it, his grandchild would be 20 by now. Uh, then that would make you... His grandson. Yeah. 
You're a boy. Oh, are you a Pokemon professor? Choose gender. Oh, yes, of course, my apologies. I don't know how I could have forgotten when you're standing right in front of me. Goodness gracious, do you think my dear old friend's grandson would find his way to all of town? Come on, then. I'd be happy to show you your grandfather's old farm. Yeah, so I was checking this out because I got the uh, premium edition. So, you know, it came with that nice cloth map and the um, ox plushie. But me being a collector, I take the game out, leave the two items in unopened, and just seal the box back up and put it on my shelf. It's, it's what I do. It's what, it's what collectors do. Is something the matter? Actually, let me guess. Uh, by the look on your face, you'd like to ask me, are you quite sure this is grandfather's farm, sir? And to that I would say, no, it isn't. This is a random part of the town, sorry. It is. When your grandfather lived here, it's, this farm was lush and beautiful place. Emphasis on the was, I'm afraid. Now, what was the name of his farm again? Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Yeah. Boop. Boop. Press. Go. Log. Your grandfather must have... Oh, I thought it was totally going to be like, what's the name of the farm? Do you remember? Uh, your grandfather must have told you the name of the farm. Surely, what was it? Okay, they are doing that. <laughs> Uh, and if you remember from my previous games like this, I've always, since I was a child, named all of them Legends. And, uh, I made my very first grave mistake on Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life when I didn't know if it would just input the word farm after. So it was Legends Farm Farm, things like that. Uh, I also did that with Sukaden 5, the uh, the Felanian army, and then they put army afterwards, so it's Felanian army army. <laughs> Legends farm. Confirm name. Yes, uh, that's what it was. Uh, Legends farm. Interested in taking over the farm, are you? Well, I can't say that I'm well versed on the subject, but I, I blah 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 blah. And I can at least teach you the basics to start you off. You see, this is dirt. You put things in it, and it grows. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs> but yeah, I was checking out this game, and what? What the heck are we doing? Why, I, man? I did, I don't know why it went into like a little cutscene or er, loading screen. Um, yeah, I was checking out the game, and it seems like they've diversified the cast. Like, they've always had, like, um, like a cast, you know, just some different characters here and there, etc., etc., but it seems like they, they've gathered all the races and everything, and they make a town, and that's what they did. They're just trying to give you, like, all this different freedom on a character of who you want to be. Bachelors, bachelorettes, you can marry the boy, you can marry the girl. It doesn't matter your own gender, it's whatever you want it to be. And I think that's pretty damn cool, if you ask me. Here you are. I'll pass these along to you. <laughs> Thanks for the air. I will hold this air in my heart. These are our tools for developing the farm. As I'm, you, you that, those weren't tools, you just passed me nothing. What are you talking about? As I'm sure you are well aware, this farm has seen better days, but those tools will be the key to changing all that. Using tools and items, press left and or right uh, to select an item uh, on the blah 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 bar, etc, etc, etc. Item with Y. Now, oh, the bag. Uh, items you find will be placed in your bag. Press X to open your notebook and view your inventory. Close. Uh, be aware of trees and stones while clearing things out. You'll need special tools to deal with those. Clearing the land. Uh, using an axe while standing in front of a tree will allow you to chop it down. Stones can be broken with hammers and sickles can cut wild grass. Utilize your tools and clear the land. I realize this is a lot to take in, and it might be baffling at first. Uh, take things at your own pace, and you'll gradually grow accustomed to it. Ah, and do use the sleeping bag in your tent if you find yourself exhausted from work. A good night's rest will restore your energy. 
Sleeping in your bed will recover your stamina. Your progress uh, will automatically be saved the next morning. You're welcome to take some notes on all this for future reference. If you do, you can view them from the notebook in your tent at any time. I'll be making sure that you do. I'll be spying on you and stuff. Examining a book uh, or bookshelf in your house will allow you to view tutorial tips you've seen thus far. Following along so far, uh, if you're unsure about anything, I can explain it to you once more if you'd prefer. I'm good, thanks. It's I've been playing this for... God, how long has it been? Probably 18 years or so now. I mean, this is like 25 years. This is the 25th anniversary uh, game out of the original series. Uh, I'm good, thank you. Excellent, glad to hear it. I didn't want to say all that crap again anyways. It's just too much to remember. Uh, I have some other things uh, I should explain to you as well, but I'd rather not overwhelm you. Let's wrap it up here today. Uh, but first I'd like you to try out everything you've learned. I'll be back tomorrow to teach you how to grow crops. Oh, and if there's anything about Olive Town you'd like to know, I'm the man to ask. I'm its mayor after all. As a quick word of mayoral advice, I'd suggest you get acquainted with our residents. Leaving a good first impression is paramount, I always say. Now then, I'll be on my way. Until tomorrow! Thank you, thank you for all the advice. I, I do want to check out the town. Oh, look at this! It's like we're playing Harvest... No, uh, my god. Animal Crossing all over again with the tent. Okay, let me just... Jesus Christ, can you stop with the notifications? Oh my god! I I'm just trying to get adjusted to how it feels. Like, it's very snappy in an inhuman way. Uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's uh, They could kind of work on that a little bit. Maybe in some updates they will. Uh, but I do enjoy that, so I can... Yes, I love it. At least giving me two options of walking. So if I just gently press, he walks. If I fully press uh, the toggle stick, he runs. Awesome. Etc, etc. Whoa, my god. Whoa, this is everything. Okay, I like that. Uh, could I just carry this in my backpack or open it anytime? Where the hell am I at? Where's the you are here button? Well, I don't know where I'm at, so... Whatever. I'll, I'll just have to learn the layout. Hearts, nobody likes me. Logging. Oh my god. Why? Hello there. Your tools can be uh, stored in a tool bag when you need them. Take them out and use them. And when you're done, you can store them back here. Uh, make blah 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 blah. Records. Okay, cool. I've played for 20 minutes. What? There's no way it's already been 20 minutes, you, you silly dingus. It's whatever. I'm out of here. I need to explore. I hear the amount of area that you can go around is large. Uh, aesthetically, I and Oh my god, really? Good job, you jumped! <laughs> or whatever. You walked, you breathed air! Here's how to breathe. If you grow, if you sow seeds in your fields, you'll be able to grow crops. Try planting some seeds after Mayor Victor's taught you a little more about raising crops. He's already said he'd be back tomorrow to teach me how to do that. Wow, okay, well I'm getting a little... Uh, I hope they do an update to just maybe smooth out the movement. How is our random Kuko here? Hello, Kuko. Uh, you have no place to house the animal. Try again after you've prepared the applicable uh, dilapidated facility. Cool. Oh my god, wild crops. If you discover crops, you have, you've never seen the blah, 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 blah. Okay, got it. Yes, it means I can just take it. This is my onion now. I don't know who uh, who planted these. They said they were wild, but uh, you never know. Somebody comes back for their onions, and they're like, what the hell? Eat? Oh, no. Yeah, just eat a whole raw onion. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Um. So, let's see. I've got a total of nothing. I just got a bunch of food. And it seems we're living in a simulation, apparently, because the trees just get all digitized. Uh, repair. What do I need? Uh, so, I assume you'll need a bunch of wood or something. As you repair or remove obstacles, you'll gain more farmland to work with. 
Yeah, but tell me what I need. If you want to remove or repair it, you'll have to make a request at a carpenter's shop. Makes sense. Request work with materials. Uh, request work with money. That's awesome! So you can do either or. Uh, but you want to know your options first. I wish it would tell you right there, but it's whatevs. It's whatevs. Uh, can you... Uh, damn these rocks! I'm gonna... I'm, I swear to God, I'm gonna destroy all these trees. Okay, I wouldn't destroy the trees. I would chop the trees down that are in the way and leave the ones that look aesthetically pleasing to the land. Unless you could just probably... Well, most likely you could just do um, fruit trees. Hey, another wild onion. You're mine. You're mine. Let me harvest you. Thank you. Kept tapping it. What is this? A berry? Strawberry? It's a wild berry. Whoa, clam. Blood clam? That doesn't sound very delicious. Uh, is it just gonna keep this sign over my head and... Okay, well. There. I'll do that. That way I don't have to bother. Fishing area. Cool! So I'm guessing it wants me to do all that junk. That it was just... Oh, shipping bin. That's convenient. I'll save these for now. I assume we'll be able to... Uh, shop. Shop, I mean... What, what's it called? Cook. Cook. How can I forget the word cook? Cooking. Cook, cook, cook. Uh, the Hoof House Animal Shop. Closed Tuesdays. Well, what day is it? Spring. It's a Sunday. Uh, it's almost 3 p.m. Closed Tuesdays. Oh, my bad. My bad. We could just go in. So I assume this is where you can purchase animals. I like them adorable cows. They're so adorable. Oh my god, they're big old fat heads. And somebody who's just putting a bell on their tails? Why would you do that? What is this? Olive General Store. Cool! What's up in here? What's up in the General Store? Oh my god. The General Store sells seeds, seedlings, and various other products. Their lineup changes each season, so check back often to see what's in stock. Hours of operation, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Close Tuesdays. Um, hello. Hi. Hello, Angela. Howdy, you're Anna, right? I'm Angela. My family runs the general store. Nice to meet you. Hi. Ooh. She's singing to me. Little musical notes above her head. Welcome to Olive Town General Store. How can I help you? Uh, furniture. Well, bro, we're only in a tent right now. Uh, what do you got for goods, though? Potato seeds, cucumber, radish, fodder, tea leaves. Tea leaf seeds? Mmm, that sounds... Man, that makes me want some tea right now. Bean seeds. They got a good variety. Pet treat. Awesome. Bouncy ball. Get, what, what do you, you throw this for the dog or a ball? Yeah, for dogs. Okay, cool, cool. I'm guessing that's for cat. Jewelry ring. Okay, that's cool. No, damn it. I got too angsty. I, I just pressing the buttons too fast. Log. I could just wait. I could just buy the logs. Buy furniture. Candle! Picture frame. Uh, do you got any flat screen TVs up in here? Do, do y'all got, got them PS5s? Have you been the ones buying up all the PS5 stocks? It's nice to meet you all. Hello. Hi. Jack? Yeah. Looking for anything in particular? No, so you're Anim. I heard about you from the mayor. I'm Jack, your friendly neighborhood general of general store generalities. Okay, that flopped. I'm Jack, nice to meet you. He seems nice, I like Jack. Look at this TV, what is this? 1980s? Well, there's apparently a third person here. Fourth, possibly. Uh, can we run any faster? Like, can do we, do we have a sprint? It, no, why would you? Oh my god. Don't sit. Okay, you know what? I'm going around. Uh, we're leaving. We're leaving now. I'm just exploring your house. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I thought maybe like the store was a little bit bigger, but they tend to attach the shops to the places that they live. And, you know, that makes sense. I'm guessing this is the fishing area. This is... Oh, hello, Manuela. Well, now you've got to... Uh, you've got the look of someone who hasn't gone fishing before. Am I right? 
Uh, don't you worry. This is as good as an opportunity as any to learn. I'd be happy to teach you if you'd like to try. Here, for starters, I'll give you this fishing rod. It was just laying around my house, and I'd rather it be put to good use. Thank you, Manuela, for the... Again, the air. Everybody likes to gift air in this town, I guess. You can cast uh, out your fishing rod as long as you're facing a body of water. Once you've got a fish on the line, reel it in and begin your battle with your catch. The battle with your catch. The rules of fishing are simple. If there's a body of water, you can probably cast your line into it. Simply face the water, throw out your line, and... The moment you nab something on the hook, start reeling it in. Which button do I press, though? Once you've gained enough fishing experience, I bet you'll be able to reel in the big one just like mi amor, Marcos can. And that's all there is to it. Now get out there and enjoy fishing. Thank you! I, it's, it's good to talk to people. Uh, you, you get free stuff. Whoop whoop. Uh, I was wondering if it would do the Animal Crossing thing of you, like, click on the guitar and it would play a note or something. You see what I mean, though? There's lots of different ethnicities in the town. I love it. I can slightly move the camera. Oh, that's a, that's kind of an annoyance, though. If I want the camera one way, I have to manually hold it like that. Hello, Mayor! Well, I'll, I've already talked to you enough. I have quite a bit, actually. Hello. Marcos! Hola! Nice to meet you. I'm Marcos, a fisherman. And you're in them, right? We're a tight-knit community here. Everyone knows everyone. Come by and shoot the breeze sometime. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you've got some fancy hair. Are you to be like an old-timey Frenchman or something? Lovette? Why, hello, I am called Lovette. I travel the world in search of fine cuisine, writing magazines, articles, on my discoveries. Do let me know if you happen upon any Olive Town delicacies. I just got here, what? I mean, I assume you live here and you've been here this whole time. <laughs> As you get used to farm work, you'll find yourself leveling up various skills along the way. When these skills level up, you'll gain special traits and learn new crafts. Hello, hello everybody. Man, a lot of people around here. Talk. Yeah. Damon, oh, you're the cool type, huh? You a tourist? Oh, you're the one who took over the farm. You're Adam, right? I'm Damon. I'm sure I'll see you around. I'm the, the, the cool, swab jerk kind of person. Hello. Uh, registering for trips. Wait, trips? What do you mean? You can, like, visit other people or something? When you register for a trip, your avatar will visit other players' towns all over the world. If you leave communication features turned on, farmers from all over the world can visit your town as tourists. By sending out a postcard, you can share a photo you've taken with farmers all over the world. If you leave communication features turned on, photos taken by the farmers will be displayed on your loading screen. That's cool. I like that, dude. I totally like that. Laura, if you're looking for a, a blah, blah, blah. if you're looking for the lowdown on Olive Town, then you've come to the right gal. Wait, here, Adam. Mayor Victor told me about you. I'm Laura, the town's tour guide. No question is a dumb question, as far as I'm concerned. So far, fire, fire away if there's anything you'd like to know. Is this water? Is this water over here? Are we floating on this water? Uh, no, 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 I'm, I'm good. I'll check this out in my own time. Uh, come back soon. Yes, I, I definitely will, because that is a really cool feature you got going there. Uh, goals rest. Oh, okay, well, I guess this episode is just, you know, running around town and introducing everything. The Gold's Rest Hotel and Cafe. If you're not terribly hungry, but need a light meal after work, stop by Sally's Cafe. It's the great place. It's a great place to start. Uh, oh my god. It's a great place. To take a break every once in a while. Hours of operations, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. close Tuesday. Everything's just closed on the same day. That's a little unfortunate. Well, I guess it's easier to manage, but at the same time, like, it doesn't change it up as the old ones do. Whoa, are you a pirate? Who are you? I can't see your face. Jason. 
Sure am, I'm right? I've heard about you. Have you heard about me? Uh, you haven't. Uh, I'm Jason. Though I may look the part of a dashing corsair, I'm actually the owner of the Gull's Rest Hotel. Okay, well, uh, I believe in your judgment as you walk into a bookshelf constantly. Um, oh, hello, madame. Hi there. Sally. Hello, Adam. I'm Sally, and I run the cafe. Have some coffee. I make a mean cup of joe, if I do say so myself. Hi there. Welcome, what can I do for you? Oh, God. No, no, no. I, I don't... Nothing now. Need anything else, Han? I need to go. Thank you. I'm just introducing myself and getting, you know, a, a situated in the new town. Oh, they're connected. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Coolio. You never know. You walk into a tiny house, and it always looks bigger on the inside with these games. Oh, oh, what is this? Capside Bistro. Whoa, that was a different time, though. 12 p.m., 10 p.m. Open every day. Oh, this is a fancy restaurant. They have multiple employees. Uh, if you're hungry or low on stamina, why not have a meal at the Bistro? Misaki's comforting entrees will greatly replenish your stamina, so you can get back to work feeling refreshed. Operations, yada yada, we already went over that part. Hello. Hello, Vet. How are, how are you enjoying the food? Is the cuisine here good? If I write about the delicate, delectable cuisine to be found in this town, it is sure to have tourists flocking to it in an instant. Awesome. Well, he looks like he's having a good time. I guess he'd be the trope of the character that just eats everything. Hello. Blair. You're not from around here, right? Are you a tourist? But you're Anim. Ah, the mayor was going on and on about someone coming to take over the farm. I'm Blair. I work at the Bistro. Nice to meet you. Hello, everybody. I hope you don't mind if I just walk around and check all the rooms and stuff. Hello. Hello, Misaki. I've heard of you. You've moved to this town recently, right? Today, in fact. Just today. Uh, the mayor, Victor, announced the news to everyone. I'm Misaki. I run the bistro. Do drop by sometime. It'd be my pleasure to serve you. Thank you. I will keep that in mind when I'm lazy and I just want to buy food in bulk. I hope you have the ability to fire up like 500 steaks and I can just run around chopping all the trees down. Hello. Karina. Enchanté. I'm Karina, a stylist. I just moved to this town, too. Funny enough, we should help each other get settled. That sounds awesome. Uh, please don't glitch out too hard. Did you see her for a second? She's like... Dur, 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 trying to get into a walking animation. Oh. Jesse. Oh, my, my. Hello there. You are. Oh, gracious, you're, Anna. Now that I think of it, you do look quite a bit like your grandfather. My name's Jesse. I was good friends with your grandfather, you know. Aww. Simon! Ain't you, Anim? I heard about you from Victor. I'm Simon. My daughter took over the general store from me. Though I still help her out. I helped pioneer this land with your grandfather, you know. These were the... Those. Those were the days. Not these days. Those days. Everything's too convenient in your... Con contraptions and your cell phones and your TVs and um what else we got up in here Nigel's handiworks what you got what you got up in here Nigel what's up with the handiworks oh my god uh, you may purchase farm facilities and upgrades from Nigel's workshop keep that in mind uh, once you've repaired a dilapidated farm facility for your first time uh, for the first time, Nigel will begin to sell them. You may also commission him to expand your home. Awesome. Oh, the close one says. Awesome. Coolio. Coolio. Hello, Nigel. Sorry to barge in while you're eating oh. dinner. What is that fish? Can I have some? Just kidding. I don't like fish unless it's tuna. I'm Nigel. Let me know if you ever need any carpentry work done. I've got the skills, so I may as well put them to good use, yeah? Anyway, be seeing you. Please just get the hell out of my house. I'm trying to eat dinner. Well, at least the load times are, you know, they're pretty quick. I, I enjoy that. Oh. Oh. You hear that bass? That nice little bum, 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 bum. Really enjoy that. Love its house gourmet palace. Oh my god. 
Love it. You are packing some freaking dough. Hello, who are you? Cindy. Oh, I always give the young ones like big macho voices. Oh, it's nice to meet you. I'm Cindy and you are. Oh, you're Adam, so you're the one who's going to be living on the farm. May I come play some time? I don't know why it's always fun to, to give the kids or like the cute animals that can talk like the, the deepest, weirdest voices. Uh, the tool shop will be upgraded. Uh, we'll, we'll upgrade your precise tools for you. Uh, you may also commission bag expansions there if you'd like to carry more items. At a time! Whoa! Hey, bro! Check these out. These look way cooler than my little moped. Yo! Can I buy one of these? I, I know you're... Damn, they're all eating the same dinner. Look at that. It's exactly the same. Hey, I'm Clemens. I'm the guy behind all the bits and bobs at the tool shop, and you are... Ah, so you're Adam. Good to meet you. And you are... Lars? Oh, are you the one who I've been hearing rumors about? Adam? I'm Lars. I helped my big brother Clem at the tool shop. You came here on a motorcycle, right? Moped! Uh, well, it... J or Vespa, perhaps. Well, it just so happens that this sounds motorcycles expert. Uh, I'm this me. Uh, if you ever need any help with that, I'm your guy. Thank you. Uh, if you could get on that like right now and not eat dinner. Look, I guarantee you, same dinner. Everybody in town, same freaking dinner. Can I get? Everybody's got the same TV too. I want like a big old flat screen. Vacant lot. And I, I've checked all these, right? All of these. Norman's Groceries. Ah, oh, it's seven though. Oh, you can still go in and just barge in. Norman sells various cooking ingredients at his store. His lineup will change each season, so check back often to see what's in stock. Why not experiment with some of his fresh seasonal ingredients next time you cook? Yes! Hello! I'm sorry to interrupt your dinner. Uh, hmm, have we met somewhere before? Oh, you're Adam. It's nice to meet you. I'm Norman. This town's grocer. If you're ever looking for ingredients or food, I'm your man. Come see me anytime. Well, that's what I'm doing right now. You're all eating dinner and I'm just barging in. Didn't I already talk to you, Laura? Yes. Yes! Uh, I want this town to be the most happening place around so we bring in more tourists. Well, I mean, if it wasn't so, dare I say, n normal, everything's okay. It's this dude. This dude got a big mansion over there. It's abnormal for a smaller town like this. But what I mean, like, everybody's, like, same dinner, same everything. Look at his base tool shop. Yes, we were already there. It's almost nighttime, but we will be ending this episode off soon, I swear. Nguyen's Flowers. Closed Mondays. Okay, so this one also has an abnormal day instead of just being a Tuesday. Um... Nguyen sells a variety of flowers, flower seeds, and furniture at his shop. His lineup will change each season, so check back often to see what's in stock. You can also request to make perfumes and bouquets. Uh, bouquets! Ah, uh, beautiful flowers indeed. Hmm, what are these? Tulips? Lovely, lovely. Um, hello? Oh, over there. Eating the same dinner, of course. Of course. Lynn, hello. Yes, might I ask uh, who you are? What are you doing in my house? Your name is Adam. Oh, you're the one who came in... You're the one who came to town riding a motorcycle. My name is Lynn. I manage the flower shop with my grandpa. We'd be delighted to receive your patronage. Thank you, thank you very much. Hello. Oh. Hmm, who are you again? Ah, Adam, so you're the one then. Name's Nguyen. My granddaughter and I run the flower shop. If you ever want flowers or seeds, come to me. Thank you very much. What was that? Friendly face, communication, new title. Uh, how do I How do I see this? Oh, no, I don't want that. Can I see these uh, things? Communications. Could you, you get your own communication skill? Uh, speak with and befriend all of town's residents. Friendship. It is its own reward. Learned traits. 
Slight boost to friendship growth. Oh, that's so convenient. I like that, dude. It used to be based on like how often you talk to them and give them gifts that they they enjoyed on various levels. So everybody, oh, these that's Lynn. Ewan's granddaughter seems to help out the flower shop. Um, Ewan, it, it just lists everybody, huh? Misaki, ooh, man, she's pretty. There's one left? No, there's a few. There's a lot left. Oh my god. Okay, there's quite a bit of people I've missed, apparently. I'm so sorry. Uh, well, I guess I'm just gonna run around for a little bit longer. Okay, d damn, dude, this place is huge! Huge! This place is huge! Um, because I wanted to, I always do a little bit of research on a new game, uh, just so I know where to place me on the screen. And they, they were warning that the, the place, like the farm at first, like, oh yeah, you unlock a new area. The damn thing just gets like twice the size and you can unlock even more areas, etc, etc. And good thing the days are longer because even the town's freaking huge. Olive Museum. Um, but yeah, so I'm I'm doing I'm doing my scouting, my my potential candidates. Oh, like this lovely Gloria here. <laughs> Pardon, me. <clears throat> Pardon me. Yes, you over there. Might I have a moment of your time? Olive Museum was established so that the tourists, uh, the world over, could view some of the splendors of our our town holds. As you can see, however, we currently have few spectacles to attract our visitors with. It's quite a conundrum. For a while now, I've considered making art of the local wild animals, but I don't have the resources I need. I have a request for you. If you've the time to do so, could you please stand on this pedestal and just do not move for the rest of your life and just be a display piece? Would you be able to take pictures of those wild animals? Oh, more air. Thank you so much. Photos can be taken with the camera. You'll be able to move around while in camera mode as well. A blue outline will be displayed on the wild animals whose blah, 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 you can donate. Sweet. Awesome. So we already, we were getting a head start on Pokemon Snap, apparently. Uh, I suppose I should also mention that I have interest in building an aquarium. If you could donate any sea creatures to us, I'd be most grateful. Oh, are you taking hints from maybe, maybe Animal Crossing with the aquarium exhibit? I quite enjoy that a lot, actually. Oh, and I almost forgot, from time to time you can, you might come across relics of ages past. Reyna can't get enough of them. If you find something out of the ordinary, feel free to show it to her. She'll examine it for you. We'd appreciate any support you could provide us. I'll be counting on you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my neck. That was a good snap. The museum accepts a wide variety of donations, such as treasures you find on the farm, photos, wild animals, and fish. After making a new donation, Beth will create and sell faux decor you can place in your home if you happen upon any mysterious... Uh, mysterious or time-worn time-worn objects you can hand them over to Reyna for appraisal uh, but there's nobody here excuse him where excuse me okay well maybe I'll come back well no we're exploring I know you're down here eating dinner let me introduce myself kicks in the door whoa this is the aquarium area oh I I like the design and the color and stuff. Uh, to be honest, it's a it's a little on the lazy side, um, but still, I like that they're making progress. You know, th this is kind of like the original Animal Crossing style, just rows and rows of things uh, compared to like the Animal Crossing's current exhibit. It's beautiful. I spent so much time in the fish exhibit. You must be Reyna. She was very enthusiastic. Are you Anim by any chance? Uh, it, sorry, it threw me off guard for a second. I uh, thought so. I heard 
from Mayor Victor that you came here from the city. I'm Reyna. I work at the museum. Let me know if you ever happen across anything rare. But of course, thank you very much, I, as I assume. I don't know the lineup of uh, potential candidates for Mirage. Um, so I'm going to have to look that up and then immediately choose. That's just how I play these. As soon as I figure, like, I like her, uh, then I that's what I go for. Immediately. Immediately. Olive Hall. Everything's olives. Are there green olives? Do you make olive jokes up in here? What about pickles? Uh, requests from the townsfolk are posted up on the bulletin board in the back of Olive Hall. Submit the requested items and you'll be rewarded for your efforts! I could so do that. And I uh, don't see... There's nobody... Okay, there's probably somebody up here. We, we've got to be making a huge dent now in the residence. Oh, yes, I remember seeing you in the uh, Olive Town pamphlet tour guide. You're Victor son, right? Jacopo. Uh, my old my old man tell me about you. Uh, you're Anim, right? I'm Jacopo. Uh, in case you haven't guessed, I'm the mayor's son. I got a gig working on the ferry. Pleasure is mine. Yes, yes, you seem nice. Oh, and okay. Oh, that you that must be your mother. Gotcha, gotcha. Everything's under coming together. I understand. Uh, what about in here? Or maybe this is a secret room. This is this is where all the tax money is. You're just filing. What is this? Just a bunch of blocks. Why is this here? Oh. Oh my God! They're connected. That's cool. Oh, makes sense. Makes sense. Okay, that's why all the random little blocks were there. Gotcha. Weird how it just like leads right into the mayor's house. Ah, ranger station. This looks like an adorable little cabin. Nobody here. Okay, well, I'm gone. Goodbye. <gasps> Was that a flat screen TV? Dude, this music, though. It's 11.19, so it's... <gasps> oh, my God! No, 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 don't... Oh, you're adorable. The shrine radiates a mysterious energy. Yeah, well, I mean, a freaking fox just disappeared into it. It made animals disappear. That's what it does. It's mysterious. Uh, I wish I had just a little bit more of the control on the camera. I, I would love to see, like, what the sky would look like and things like that. Ho-hum. It's okay. I can only hope. Oh, hello. Hello. How do I... Right here. I didn't read that. I should have read that. Is this just somebody's house? Ah, hello, hello. It's late out. I should leave. Excuse me, I was trying to introduce myself to more people. Um, they're sleeping now. Best not to bother them. Well, I guess okay. I guess that that that's the episode, everybody. So we almost made it through meeting everybody. Oh, yes, we can just totally access it in our uh, inventory our inventory so let's see we we've met just pretty much about everybody um but yeah no i mean i i'm excited about this dude i am so freaking excited about this so i hope you maybe want to tag along maybe uh hit that like button subscribe whatever you want to do it doesn't matter just have fun with it you know but i hope you had a great day or night Thank you.